This is Twit. I'm here in the Data Color booth talking with David Toby, product and technology manager here. And uh, David, I'm going around the show talking about 4K. And I know that Data Color is involved with measurement and calibration. And uh, I want you to tell me how important that is in general, but also specifically now that we 4K is on its way in here. Well, we're all you know, kind of cranking up our act in terms of resolution, in terms of uh, you know, color dynamic range, and you know, bit depth. So when you, when you have all of this increased capability, it would be kind of a shame not to use it accurately. So data color is all about the standards and the accuracy that you can use for capture and display and output. So it is. And uh, are there anything? Is there anything new we have to be concerned with in terms of 4K? You mentioned bit depth. Uh, certainly, a wider color gamut. We need uh, standards for that. I'm a little concerned that we don't have s clear cut standards for gamut, dynamic range, bit depth, uh, color subsampling. Well, there's, all of those things are more open fields in video than they are, say, in still photography, where there are such standards. So we very much miss them when we're working in the video field, and we would like to bring. Uh, kind of consistent standards to video, uh, working with what's here now and, and what needs to be here to make it work in the future. So that's part of our long-term goal. In the short term, we're trying to provide tools that people can work with today with the processes they do use. And I believe you have some tools to show us. Well, yes, we're just announcing today at this show our new product, Spider HD, which is a bundle designed for both still and motion process. So this is capture tools and display tools, display being a very wide uh, range of devices these days. Mm. So, um, so what I have here in my lap is a Spider HD kit, and this is uh, you know, a, a case capable of being you know, taken on site, and it has in it a range of products. We have our, our uh, Spider Checker, which is both a color target, and on the backs of these there are gray cards, so you can use this. Uh, what's particularly critical for DSLR video is it's really JPEG quality. You have to get the white balance and exposure right in camera. So you flip these cards over and you can do a, a white balance on site with each camera as you work. You can also use this for color profiling. So that is uh, one component of this. We also have our Spider Cube, which is a superb tool for RAW. So if you're shooting black magic, camera red, or if you're shooting still RAW, this tool will help you determine your lighting conditions, your white balance, and your exposure conditions. Uh, I won't go into explaining how that works here, but trust me. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, the, the, the key product in any spider bundle is a spider. So <laughs> we're looking at, uh, this is a, a seven channel colorimeter, and what it's going to do is, is allow you to measure any type of display, everything from your iPhone and your iPad on up to your $20,000 reference display. The question is, what software do you use with each type of display for calibration? So we have a new first in the world product, which is the Spider 4 Elite HD software, which will calibrate both computer displays, which is one process, and reference and uh, field displays, which is a totally separate process, all with the same piece of software. And is this available now, this kit? This is uh, being released today, so it should be in distribution today, so it should be available for those who are interested in it. And what are we talking about price-wise? Well, the, uh, the list price on this is uh, $349 US. Not bad for, uh, for making sure that what you're shooting and what you're seeing is accurate. Well, it certainly saves time and money in the long run to calibrate as you work. Yeah. Thanks so much. My pleasure.